This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to take a look at how to use a number line to do addition and subtraction problems. Okay, first things first, uh, what I like to talk about is how to change a subtraction problem to an addition problem. Let's talk about that since uh, we're going to talk about both of them in this whole video. So like, let's say if we had the number 3, we're going to subtract 5. So if we're going to subtract numbers, the way you change that to an addition problem is real simple. You change the last number and make it the opposite of whatever the number is and then change the problem to an addition problem. Okay, so for instance, you leave the first number alone, you change the number to addition, and then instead of this being a 5 like it is right now, because it's 3 minus 5, it now becomes negative 5. See how we took the opposite. Okay, I'm not going to do the problem. I'm just showing you how to change the problem from subtraction to addition. All right, let's take a look at another example. Uh, let's say we have negative 5, and we're going to take uh, and subtract 7. Okay, so what do you do? You change the problem to addition, and then you take the opposite of the second number. So this is a positive 7, right? It's a negative 5 minus 7. That's a positive 7. So you change it to the opposite of 7, which is negative 7. Okay, it works for all situations. So let's say we have negative 2 minus negative 3. So let's say we're going to subtract these two negative numbers. Again, you leave the first number alone, change the problem to addition, and then just take the opposite of the second number. So the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And now I would do that problem like normal. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Uh, let's say 5, uh, let's just stick away from 5. How about 10 minus negative 8? Well, keep the first number the same, change it to addition, take the opposite of the second number. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. So this 10 minus negative 8 is the same thing as 10 plus 8. And then I would do that problem. Okay, let's get to the next part of this video. All right, in this part, we're going to talk about what a number line is. So what you have to notice is that we have a line, and it does go on forever in both directions. That's why there's double arrows there. Zero is smack dab in what we like to think of as the middle of the number line. If it goes on forever, technically there's no middle, but we put a zero here in the middle to demonstrate that. To the right of zero, we have positive numbers. To the left of zero, we have negative numbers. As we move to the right, the numbers get bigger and bigger. So one, two, three, you can see that we're getting larger as we go to the right. And we know that five is bigger than three, and three is bigger than one, and one is bigger than negative two. So if you want to compare two numbers, you look at them on a number line. Whichever number is further to the right is larger than the number that's further to the left. Okay, so if we were going to compare, like let's say, negative three and negative five. Which one's larger? Well, negative 3 is further to the right, so it must be larger than negative 5. When you make a number line, make sure traditionally to put that 0 in the middle, and then you count to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you count one unit at a time if you want to space it in such a fashion. So you put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right, and to the left we put negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So, um, that's how we line up the numbers in a number line. Again, we do have to be careful with deciding which numbers are bigger, and that's why I'm going to put this down to make sure that we really look at this. So if when I want to decide which of these two numbers is bigger, notice how the negative 1 is further to the right instead of negative 2, right, when you compare the two. So I would say that negative 2 is smaller than negative 1, or I could say negative 1 is larger the negative 2. So it helps us place things in order on a number line. And in, and in a moment, in the next section, we're going to see how the number line can be used to actually add and subtract those positive uh, numbers and negative numbers. All right, so let's now talk about some examples, right? Let's go through a few examples so we can get a feel for how the number line works. Uh, all right, let's say we're going to take um, 4 and we're going to add uh, negative 2. Okay, so the way you work this problem is you start at the number 4. Okay, so I picture putting a dot right here on number 4. And 
When I see that I'm going to add a negative, that means I'm going to move left two. That's what negative numbers mean. I'm going to move left two. So from four is where I start, and then I'm going to move two to the left. So if I go two to the left, and there you go, I land up at there. That is your answer. So now I know the answer to this problem is two. All right, let's try another problem. Let's say we have a negative three, we add five. Well, let's make a different number. I want the answer to come out to be a different than it was before. Let's add four. So this is where you start. I start at negative three, okay? So I put a dot on negative three. And this one says I'm going to add four. Positive numbers, you know, just like negative numbers mean we move to the left. Positive numbers mean we move to the right. So now I am going to jump Instead of jumping two spaces left with, like we did for the previous problem because two was a negative number, I'm now going to move four units to the right. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And there you go. That's the final answer. My answer is one. If I were to take a very simple problem, I probably should have started out with this, but if I were to say, let's 1 plus 3, even though we do know the answer, physically we would have start at number 1. So we start there with a dot at number 1, and I'm going to go 3 units. Now, which way am I going to go? Well, since 3 is a positive number, I'm going to move 3 spaces to the right. And there you go. My answer has to be 4. And it works. Intuitively, we knew that was the answer anyway. We could also add negative numbers. We could take negative 3 plus negative 2. Let's see what happens when we do that. All right, well, we start at negative 3. And then I'm going to move 2 units. Well, which way? I'm going to move 2 units left because it is a negative number. So from negative 3, I'm going to move 2 units to the left. Therefore, my answer is negative 5. Let's talk about subtraction. So let's say I have negative 2, and I'm subtracting negative 4. Okay, looks complicated, but remember the steps. Well, how do I change this to an addition problem? You leave the first number alone, you change the sign to an addition problem, and then you take the opposite of the second number. So the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. Okay, now how do we do this? Well, we start at negative 2. And I'm going to go four units. Four units which way? I'm going to go four units to the right because that is a positive four. So from negative two, I go one, two, three, four units to the right. And I'm at the number two. And two is my answer. Okay, let's do another one. Let's say we've got four minus eight. Eh, let's make it six. Four minus six. Okay, well, first thing I do is I change this to an addition problem. I'm not going to try to do subtraction on this. I'm always going to go back to addition. Keep the first number the same. Change the sign to addition. And now I'm going to take the opposite of this 6, right? Because it is 4 minus 6. It's a positive 6. So the opposite of 6 is negative 6. All right, now how do I use the number line? I start at 4. And I'm going to move 6 units. Six units which way? Left, because that is a negative six. So I'm going to go six units. I'm going to jump six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is right there. The answer is negative two. All right, let's try one minus five. Okay, I'm going to give you a moment to see if you could find out what this answer is. One minus five. So I suggest change it to an addition problem. Okay, so that should be 1 plus negative 5. Okay, now place the point where you're supposed to start. You can even put your finger on 1, and you're going to move 5 spaces. Figure out 5 spaces which way. Yep, if you said left, you're correct. So you start at 1, right here. Okay, that's where you're going to start, and you're going to move 5 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5. And your answer is negative 4. All right, our last example, we're going to take a look at negative 5 minus negative 3. I'm going to go slowly, so maybe you can jump ahead in your, in your head as, as you're following along. Okay, I'm going to change this to an addition problem. Start with negative 5. I change the subtraction to addition. I now take the opposite of the second number. Negative 3 changes to positive 3. Now I'm going to start here and I'm going to move three spaces. So I start at negative 5. And I'm going to move three units to the right because it's a positive 3. Positive numbers move to the right. So I go 1, 2, 3. And there's your answer. Negative 2. Hey, make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Make sure you check out all our interactive quizzes, our text lessons, and over 100 videos. Take care.